Okay, so this is my project conspiracy uh, save changes. Ooh, go on then. In, just put in a progress bar. I'm going to try and figure out what the shortcomings. So, right, so this was the for the game jam, for Penny's game jam, and uh, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed doing it, but it highlighted a lot of my weaknesses. Uh, user interface I'm just going to spend a lot of time trying to figure that out so I need to make proper menu systems proper buttons proper progress bars and uh, what was the other thing as uh, load save games those were key things that I realized I needed to already know and I just ran out of time before I could implement any decent ones and um, a wind loose Thing. I didn't really know <coughs> where to go with the win loops. My my plan was to have lots of different passcodes and things and to lead down to the basement which was going to be a science based laboratory. So I had it but then I had no idea where to go after that. Um, but I ran out of time so I didn't get the lab done. All I basically got was the scene, the forest, the really cool house which took up massive amounts of resources but it's just awesome else uh struggling with text mesh pro just kept breaking all the time so annoying it nearly cost me the entry i couldn't get in because uh, it just kept crashing and i had to all sorts of things to fix him text mesh pro that was really upsetting and um what else uh I'm still recovering from I really pushed myself for this and um, oh yeah I've got some amazing videos which I put in uh, from Juice Media which just completely nailed my thoughts on conspiracy and the Illuminati and that it may well exist but we're not in the bottom of the pyramid we're in the middle there's plenty of things underneath us uh, so we've got some responsibility rather than just blaming people. I put the Peggy thing in, I don't know about that. It was about 16. This is really, this isn't for kids. Uh, there's some adult themes, but it's conspiracy theory. So I suppose you could have done a kid's version of conspiracy theories, maybe. I don't know, maybe like the Titanic. You know, it was a fit up. And I, that was another thing I was going to do, is have lots of signs with, you know, crazy theories. Well, the, which have, you know, this kind of germ of, believability and stuff so I had all that going um, I may need to use a different recorder because I think my screen recorder it's not even recording this without uh, losing some frames so I may need a different screen recorder but we'll see um, I won't spend too long on the videos but I would recommend you watch them both the intro and the outro they're amazing videos so many thanks to Juice Media for that and uh, here goes, intro scene. Um, right, ready? Double click it. Yeah, we've loaded it. Oh, yeah. Another thing was Aura really didn't work very well for me. Aura 2. Aura and Enviro as well. They just, the, the Enviro is far too loud. I've got to work on how to turn that volume down. I couldn't get it done in time. I could wrap my head around it. Uh, 2, Aura, although it helped cut down the, the, the glare. I mean, I... I I was trying to go for a dark scene with Enviro and it just threw light. Even the clouds were like beaming at night time, at midnight. So I had to stick a, an Aura thing in. And Aura 2 has, was not cutting it compared to Aura 1. Aura 1 gives some beautiful lights on the standard because I stick in the standard render pipeline, the standard one, rather than anything going anything clever with the new stuff because uh, I just don't trust it. Um, I think you can do a great deal with the standard renderer in in Unity. Uh, it's not I haven't pushed it remotely to its limits, so there's no need to go into all the high def stuff in my opinion for now. That may come. Uh, so yeah, I've had terrible problems with Enviro too loud, too bright, um, Aura too just wasn't working at all well so it was quite upsetting because I really love all of them uh, so I'm gonna have to look around for maybe amplify 
LUT or something for proper volumetric, maybe was it fog free for decent fog? Decent fog's been driving me mad, and I don't think I managed it either in this one. Because uh, the trouble is, you can use particles, but then it just looks so naff when you walk through them and stuff. So it's all about volumetric fog and lighting, but I didn't really want to pay 50 quid just for fog. It galls me, especially having done any shader thing and it shows you pretty much how to do it so anyway um are we ready let's go peggy 16 we have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. I did enjoy doing the um Can I scale that up a bit. Uh yeah I did Enjoy doing the videos and doing this and everything. Right, intro, outro, play. So this is the... Uh, I didn't even get this in commented in time. This was DP Low, which is deprecated now. And at least it works, but it doesn't work brilliantly. It goes nothing and then boom and then do. So, not great. And I wonder if I should have a fake uh, progress bar, you know, that just goes a steady kind of thing and then boom and then does that sort of stuff. I'm quite pleased with this. I mean, it's still way too bright in my opinion. And far too loud. So it's WASD and spacebar to jump. And I said, that's it, really. That's <laughs> what I managed to do. <laughs> but, so, um, the, uh, making the forest and the hill and the, the weather and the night and the how, putting the house in the right place, um, that was all very cool, very cool. Um, I enjoyed that. And I think it worked really well. This menu system, I think, works really well. I mean, it's kind of like wacky stuff. Uh, love the videos, absolutely love the videos. Uh, so you get those two, um, and that was allowed. So that's very, very cool to have them embedded in. And you can, yeah, you can look them up on the huge YouTube Juice Rap News. Really, really good. Unfortunately, they've stopped now because they ran out of funding. I think they. Well, yeah, I, I think I know why. But anyway. Um, so what else? Ba 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 ba. 
Uh, yeah, really pleased about this. Uh, I just I wish I had proper buttons, proper cool buttons, but at least they work, and this volume works, which is great. It's quite irritating that noise. It's meant to be. So it's nice having the volume slider that works. Although it would be nice to have a proper options thing. So proper options menu, proper save menu, proper win conditions, more um, locks to break into. Like I really wanted to go down the basement and stuff. And I did. I had a whole another keypad system for four-digit passwords to to get in, but by that time can implement it in time. Um, so uh, right now I'm going to move on and just try and figure out how to do proper loading screens and proper buttons. I've got doozy, but I just couldn't wrap my head around it in time. Um, and I'm, so I'd also need to figure out how to set the volume for Enviro to just get it to shush now, and not be quite so aggressively loud. Um, apparently there's a demo scene that I can look at, but I just didn't have time. So the thing that doing this game jam has highlighted for me, like I say, is my weaknesses, which is um, I wish I kind of knew, but having it hammered home when I'm burning hours trying to get the menu system to work and I'm still not being able to get proper progress bars to work. Because you kind of assume it's going to be easy and it's and it's just like, you know, it's just why spend so much time making buttons and making progress bars when you've got the game to do. But it's all part of it. So, yeah, there's a lot of things I could have improved. And I'm going to work on. Um, let's go through them, shall we? Uh, I made a list. It was volumetric. I made a logbook. I don't know if I can tab into my logbook. Did I get get my logbook? Here we go. So uh, lessons learned. Lessons learned. Use stable releases. <laughs> Excuse my language up here. Um, as soon as you get back up, get it up and loaded on the second machine. Yes. So, um, I did back it up twice during this. I backed it up at V4, and then I backed it up a bit later. It took about an hour to back up and put across to another machine, and I just left it there. So when it came to test building, I didn't test build until near the end proper build. I mean I did lots of play testing in the editor but then when I tried to build it all just get rid of that bit that test bitch pro test bitch pro uh just really did me in. Uh double the time you think you need to upload yeah just uploading it uh almost I only had thirty minutes left at the end and that was uploading it uh and then having to link it into the system and then being told that it was a one gig max in Ichi or whatever. I asked them if they could do more of it, but they didn't get back in time. So glad that Juice got back and said that I could have it. Put out requests for help as soon as possible. Yeah, I should have done that. Soon as I loaded bars. Oh, nice looking buttons. Yeah. Key systems. Oh yeah, the login key systems. Gooey style, what's that? Long in game hmm. win states, yeah. Winning, you see, what what would be the win state? Finding something, getting out alive, really, and also putting in monsters or uh, agents or something, matrix style, probably. Uh, lock and hide curse, I didn't even notice. Body metric, which is my language, still at 16. All the two let me down, environmentally let me down. Yeah, I need to get more comfortable with night and day cycles. Uh, activism for multiplayer and also FPS and photon. And that's about it really. That, those were the main lessons learned. Apologies for the language. Uh, it's just my initial thoughts and feelings. I'm still a bit fried to be honest. And uh, I think that's enough for this video. I hope you liked it. I did have a laugh making it. 
Um, I really pushed myself as far as I could to make something as the highest quality I could. Um, but the trouble with that, of course, is with the highest quality, you got the you like the uh, like that building was massive, uh, and um, got in the way of completing the game. But I still don't really regret it. I just regret not being quicker a bit able to do all this a lot faster, especially the menu system. That should all be second nature, bang, done. And I should be completely conversant in Enviro, CTS, and um, what was the other one? Or uh, they should all just be second nature. I shouldn't have to think about it. And also with uh, FBS, that should just be like a trick, click and drag and boom. Like we've got, I've got Ultimate FPS, but I just couldn't get to grips with it quick enough. And I was looking at Dark Tree. I've got the free Dark Tree. The Dark Tree would be cool. And then you see you've got the the AI creatures. But you see, I'm just not. There's the massive gaps in my knowledge that need to be plugged in to make it much quicker, uh, so I can just churn this out much faster. I mean, the only reason I managed to get such a cool intro was because I found a decent uh, video template, a couple of v decent video templates, so very lucky really. But that's one of my key strengths is being able to search. But, um, yeah, using Vegas Pro was very cool, very, very cool. A lot of these things uh, I've picked up on special offer from Humble Bundle uh, or Steam. So, there you go.